Would you take 15 for that? Um, I'll take 20. They're brand new, never been more. Info. Are you selling by the binder or by the card? Uh, however you want to do it. Early bird. Yeah. We're up and about. My husband and I always were too. Oh yeah? And it would be so aggravating because nobody would be open. Yeah, that's always the worst is when you get up early and nobody's open yet. Definitely gonna get your pizzazz here. Okay. I'm gonna keep yeah, shopping around. Yeah, just set your stuff there. Well. Okay. Would you take 15 for that? Um, I'll take 20. I think I'll pass on it. I appreciate it though. Okay. This is an old cone top beer can and they can have some serious value, but this particular one, the condition that it was in is really only worth about $30. So I decided not to pay the 20 for it. There you go. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Have good, a good luck day. with the sale. You, you too. too. You find a lot of goodies. Hope you sell a lot. <laughs> How's it going? How much are your DVDs? Uh, they're a dollar a piece. Okay. Uh, we live right down the road here. And yeah. Every year my family gets everything together. We're trying to clean up and clean out. Yeah. I, I, get, I got voted this year to come out. The worst way to spend your Thursday? Hey, I'm retired. I actually enjoy this stuff. There you go. It gets me out of the house every once in a while. Yeah. Oh man, I had that same one as a kid. That album. Well, these albums. Yeah. I, man, I've got like 300 of those that I had since I was a kid. Yeah, I got you. Um, would you go 10 on this? I would. All right. Uh, that was used for religious program out of Northern Kentucky. There. Oh no, kidding. Yeah. My uh, my dad hosted a religious program for over 20 years. Amazing praise. That was the last Mikey ball. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. That's actually kind of cool. I'll give that to Mojo. It's a dollar. Yeah. It's a dollar. You want it? <laughs> yeah, I'll give you a buck for it. There you go. Thanks, man. Good luck to you. Thank you. Y'all have a wonderful day. You too. Good morning. What do you got on your bats? 50 feet. Say 50? 50 feet. Yeah. Five, five zero? Yeah, okay. Sir. Hey folks, that's some of the grandchildren's stuff. They folks see some expensive bats, but now I know nothing about them. They have to have a certain size and all that kind of crap. Yeah. Thing. You're going to a certain league and... You got a go camera on. Yeah, I got a... Uh... YouTube hey. channel. Yeah. Let's go 30 on that. I appreciate it. Thank you. There you go. All right. Good luck to you. Well, thank, thank you. you. Well, he's going through the field just sniffing, turn on. Well, his short hair is cut to a, a gate. Yummy, just balls. Mine locked. He said, you got some stupid dogs. I said, what do you mean? He said, there ain't no birds there. I said, my dogs will pick them up. I said, I'll bet you a steak dinner there's at least a bird there. I don't know if it's shootable. We kicked up two of them. 
So he bought supper that night. <laughs> Are they all cleats? I think so. What are you asking on them? Uh, I think they're worth 10. They're brand new, never been more. Info. I'll take one pair of your cleats. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Good luck to you. Thank you. Hope that the rain stays off, we'll be yeah, up. Yeah, no kidding. We'll be doing good. <laughs> Is this your booth? It is. What do you got on your uh, shoes? Which one are you looking for? Uh, 50. 50 bucks. Uh -huh. Morning. Hello. Are you selling by the binder or by the card? Uh, however you want to do it. Um, if you do by card, it's like probably 50 cents each. Um, if you want to buy the whole binder, the fat one, I'll probably do like 150 and then this one for, I don't know, 100. Can I take a look at these two? Yeah, these two, yeah, sure. These are all uh, mixed stuff. It's gonna be like Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, um, Marvel Metal, uh, what else? Uh, Allure Chromes. Thanks for letting me look. Yeah, no problem. Anytime. I got the tongue, tongue, tongue. Did you see them rock bottom ones? Yeah, I did. You know, I think that's, it was... that's from the down there on, on Fountain Square. That's that's not there no more. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's are, right. And them are brand new. I'll just stick with this one for now. I appreciate it. Okay, thank you. Oh, what do you think uh, this works? These your bats? Yes, sir. You got five of them. There you go. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy, sir. Yeah, thank you. Good luck to you guys. Back at the house, second day of the 127 sale, and I did pretty good. Not as good as I did yesterday, but still found a lot of really good stuff. Um, I got these Nike soccer cleats for uh, 10 bucks. Uh, these are the Tempo, I can't remember what, was it 650? These are going for right around like 40 to 50. Got this really cool tap handle, uh, Kieran Ichiban, it's got a dragon. 
paid 10 for this and it is selling right around 50 bucks. Got this Audio Technica microphone for 10 and that's going for around 35. I got a bunch of bats. Um, this D Marini right here, I paid 34 and it is selling around like 100 to 120. And the rest of these other ones, these five, are fast pitch softball bats. I paid five a piece and they're ranging anywhere between like 40 and 50 pieces what they're selling for. Quick tip, um, if you get bats and, you know, they got a bunch of these ball marks and they're dirty, the um, Magic Eraser does really well. Just a little bit of water, Magic Eraser cleans up nicely. And then as far as the grips go, some of these grips you can tell are worn. And really, I don't recommend putting your grips on. Um, most people prefer, like, a certain grip, so they're going to regrip them themselves or they're just not going to worry about it. I don't think it's worth the investment of the time to buy a new grip and put it on. I've never had issues, you know, selling bats with bad grips. I usually just say grip is worn and needs replaced and kind of point it out. Got this pizzazz pizza oven for five. I just picked one of these up a couple months ago for like five bucks and it sold for $40 plus shipping rather quickly. So I'm hoping to get the same for this one. And lastly, got this little dare um, CD pouch. I think Rod pointed this out to me. Picking and punching when we were out uh, hitting the sales together. I paid a dollar for that. I'm just going to give this to um, Josh over at the Mojo crew. He collects all the dare stuff. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.